Hi everybody. Um, so I had somebody ask the question about what's a smudge fan and I thought, you know what, what's a better way to handle how, what a smudge fan is and explain it to you than to do a video. And so I have my smudging materials here. I have my abalone shell, which you can use any vessel. Um, I have a couple of different vessels that I use. This one I use outside in my workshop. And then I have um, a clay pot that my daughter made in um, art class when she was like in middle school or something and they both work fine as long as it's something that can handle a heat source it doesn't matter what your uh, container is for the ashes um, so I have this wonderful smudge fan here that was made for me by Emma an artist in Sweden and she um, uh, makes all sorts of um, divine inspired art right now she's been working on some really wonderful drums so if you're looking for something that's not what I offer she's a, a good person to um, to hit up so I'll put her information in the description of this video so anyway she made this for me a couple of years ago and I, it, I I fell in love with smudge fans I didn't know what a smudge fan was until I saw it on her page but this one is very large very um, she divinely intuited this specifically for me. So this is my smudge fan that I use when I smudge. Um, and uh, this one told me her name was Esmeralda. So this is my Esmeralda. Um, but, so, and she stands up by herself too. Some of my smudge fans stand up and some of them do not. It depends on what they want. Um, my smudging medium today that I'm going to use is white sage. There's all different kinds of things that you can use. You can use rosemary, you can use white sage, black sage, um, uh, uh, cedar. Uh, it just depends on what it is that you're trying to clear. So instead of burning the whole stick, which I've done in the past, I have found it to be just as effective if I use one piece of this. So let me take it apart real fast so that way you can see. And then whenever I do smudge, I let the smoke go as long as it feels necessary to clear the space. Um, instead of trying to keep relighting and relighting, I get the clearing and the intuitive um, information that I need um, and I let the smoke guide me. Um, so just light it until it is a flame, blow that out and now it is smoking Oops. and so I'll, it's windy so I'm gonna hold this but I put it in my bowl of course the wind has blown it out <laughs> the wind is telling me I do not need to smudge today <laughs> let's try that again there we go got a good flame on it let me let it burn for a second all right so basically your smudge fan just assists the smoke in going where you want it to go. In reality, your smudge fan is another tool that you can use to just to help you feel more clear, more grounded, more present. And so you can waft the smoke towards you. If you're trying to draw energies in, you can waft the smoke away from you. If you're trying to cleanse yourself of something, um, something else that I have found extremely beneficial is to smudge myself, fan myself, and do it vigorously. Do it with intention because you're trying to move that stagnant energy out. And so you want to make sure that you are getting enough energetic movement to clear those things out. And if I have a particular place where I have stagnant energy stored, like I tend to have issues with my lower back, which is your root chakra, clearing specifically that area of my body, I have found to be extremely helpful. And so, um, uh, you know, I, I use it to waft the smoke up to me. Um, and then when I'm clearing my space, like let's say I'm clearing a room or like my home, I go because it feels good to me in a clockwise motion because it brings in, in to me a positive manner, uh, the, the energy that I'm trying to create. And so 
Um, there's many different methods that you can use. Mine works for me. You find what works for you and go from there. Another thing that I have learned is the direction of the smoke tells you something about whether your energy is clear or not. And what I most remember about that is that if the, obviously if the room is still, right, there's wind blowing today. But if the energy flows up, the smoke flows up, that means that there's nothing blocking that smoke and that means that your energy is clear and ready to go for the day. And so that's my method. That's what I do. Um, a lot of times I will listen to solfeggio. I always say it wrong. Solfeggio frequencies um, to help with uh, my sense of calmness, peace, and presence. Um, 528 uh, megahertz is the love frequency. And so that's one that I tend to listen to well. But there's many others. I think 741 or 174. Um, being a little dyslexic here is the one used for pain and so there's many different ones that you can use but um, I was gonna say it's fairly calm now but the wind's still blowing a little bit but you can see hopefully that the smoke is mostly rising up that means that I'm ready to go and so we'll let that burn out but yeah I let it go for as long as it want and you can use the whole smudge stick if that's what you want to do you don't have to use a little piece but obviously your smudge stick will last longer if you use a little piece and then it'll burn what it needs to and then it'll go out when it needs to. And so um, I, I let spirit guide me. I let my creator, universe, God guide me and letting me know when I'm ready to proceed. And so um, it's about being present and it's about being grounded, right? And so it's just a tool for your toolbox. I hope this video helps. And um, of course, if you see a smudge fan in my shop that you're interested in, just message me and we'll talk about how to get your new baby home to you. Um, but yes, I feel like this smudge fan that Emma created for me has been extremely beneficial in helping me pivot forward into who I am meant to be here on this earth plane. And so I'm extremely grateful to her for creating this for me. So anyways, until next time, my dearest confidant, I love you.